Could you sit over at the window seat? Um... That spot is just vacant, so... Oh, yes, I see. Got it. Yamada, that's Keiichi's seat. Please switch immediately. What? I'm Keiichi Sato. I've just been transferred to the headquarters sales department. Nice to meet you. Huh? I'm Yamada. Nice to meet you. So today's your first day, right? Could you sit over at the window seat? Um... That spot is just vacant, so... Oh, yes, I see. Got it. I work at Tokimeki Cosmetics. I've just returned to the headquarters sales department after five years. Hey, that's Keiji Sato who transferred here today, right? What does that mean? You're new here and probably don't know much about the headquarters. So you should observe from this desk for a while to learn how the sales department works. Understood. Thank you for your consideration. It's, it's my, my old, old workplace, workplace from, from five, five years, years ago. ago. But a, a lot, lot can change in that time. time. Like, like you, you said, said Yamada, Yamada, I'll, I'll take, take some, some time to observe, observe the office dynamics. By the way, feel free to ask me anything about the sales department. I'm the best here. Without me, the headquarters would be in trouble. That's just how it is. So don't hesitate to talk to me, even though I'm busy. Thank you. And you know, I've made many contributions to the company. So if you ever want to know even a fraction of my achievements, just feel free to ask any time. Just after that long, meandering speech ended? Whew. Huh? Oh, it's the president's secretary, Yui. Mr. Yamada, Mr. Keiichi is here. Huh? That's Mr. Keiichi's seat. Please switch immediately. Right this way. This window seat is open, so please have a seat. Uh... Oh, this one. This seat is just open. The chair is getting old, so I'll have it replaced immediately. Uh, wait. Well... I know that the best performance I achieved when I first became the department head was outstanding. And it's true that the performance since then hasn't exactly been stellar. But what could be the reason for the personnel change for someone sitting in the head seat? Uh, no way, Mr. Yamada? Do you not understand anything? The best performance since you moved to the sales department was right after you arrived. So it wasn't entirely because of you. Y yeah. And after that, the performance is not just not stellar, but can actually be described as declining. To break through the current stagnation, we need a strong intervention. Do you understand up to this point? Well, I guess so. That's why we've made the decision to have Mr. Keiichi, who has been achieving excellent results, become the head of the headquarters sales department. Keiichi is highly expected by the president, and I, as the secretary directly assigned by the president, have also been ordered to support Keiji in revitalizing the sales department. Hmm? You haven't missed the announcement about the personnel changes, have you? Huh? Oh, right. I completely forgot to check. Here are the materials on the personnel changes for all employees. This section relates to you, Mr. Yamada. Thank you for being so considerate. You're welcome. Now. It mentions your demotion here. If you have any objections regarding the demotion, I'm open to hearing them. Uh, demotion? You understand, right? Got it. Now, Mr. Yamada, please take your seat over there. Let's keep working hard in the sales department, shall we? Also, it's better to use polite language with your superiors. Uh, yes. I apologize for the desk situation right after my arrival, Director. No, it was just a little mix-up. Once again, I'm Yui Suzuki, the President's Secretary. I'll be supporting Mr. Keiichi, who has been appointed as the Head of Sales Department as per the President's direct orders. So please take care of me. Wow, beautiful. Um? Yeah, yes, thank you, and I look forward to working with you. Hmm, I can't believe I'm being demoted. Well, it's frustrating, but my performance hasn't been good. I just need to recover my performance and regain my position as department head. To do that, I have to beat Mr. Keiichi. Mr. Yamada, I'd like you to take a look at this. What is this? This is a sales manual I created just for you. Just for me? Yes. You've even been a department head before. And I believe you have sufficient basic skills alongside your past achievements. 
Yes, I recognize that, but I must say that due to changes in society, how the internet is used, and changing needs, the methods of sales have also changed. I've included efficient sales methods based on those factors as well. That's impressive. This manual represents all my thoughts on sales, so if you follow the manual's guidelines, I believe you'll achieve results. Make sure to read it carefully. Yes, I will read it thoroughly. Thank you. To, to regain my position as department head, head, I need to be at the top of the sales results. results. Not, Not just at the top, but far ahead of everyone else. I'll win in sales against Mr. KG and show him. Sales have always been about hitting the pavement. All right, I'm off. Mr. Yamada seems to have gone straight to the client since this morning before coming to the office. He seems to be putting in a lot of effort. However, it feels like he's not communicating much with the other employees. And is using the same approach he did when he was younger. That's true, but right now, he seems to be highly motivated. So let's observe him for a while. As the weekend approached. He went straight to the clients every morning this week and worked until evening. He's really putting in the effort. Great job. Yes, I've been doing a lot of sales. I've done quite a few cold calls. I see. Even though he did a lot of cold calling, there weren't any complaints. That's impressive, veteran Mr. Yamada. <laughs> Not at all. Hey, you all over there. You should follow my example. Wow. But overall, Mr. Yamada has transformed into a hardworking salesperson. Have you turned over a new leaf? It's amazing that Mr. Keiji was able to reform someone like Mr. Yamada. He really is as exceptional as they say, being called by the president as the head of the headquarters sales department. Right? Let's work hard too and not lose to him. All right, I'm feeling motivated now. Let's start the morning meeting. Thank you all for your hard work. The sales results are in. This time, everyone has worked hard, and the overall sales results for the department have improved. In particular, Mr. Yamada's results have been noticeably improved compared to before. I'm honored. I really put in a lot of effort this time. I'm glad to have achieved certain results. I think it's amazing how Mr. Keiichi motivated the employees and boosted the overall sales performance. That's true. But it's not just Keiichi. You can compliment me more, you know. <laughs> well then, let's keep up this momentum and work hard from here on out. However, I was aiming for the top sales results through the straightforward approach. But it seems I'm still falling short. Especially compared to Keiji's sales results. I don't feel like I can win at all. This time, my results are just about above average among everyone else. With such mediocre results, it's impossible to regain my position as department head. Mr. Yamada, you did a great job! You're doing well. I'd like you to continue studying the manual thoroughly and keep up this momentum. Yes, thank you. Hmm, for me, this isn't enough. Such results are insignificant. With the current sales methods, it feels like this is the limit for results. Is this all I can achieve through hard work and prospecting? Then, I should take actions based on what's written in the manual Mr. Keiichi created, right? Hmm. Timing, Timing for sales, sales calls, calls, discounts, discounts how to close deals, deals, and so on. Hmm. Discounts? discounts? This, this is it. it. There, there was, was a great response to discounts to during this period sales. From now on, I'll go all in on the discount strategy. strategy. I'll secure plenty of contracts. Since it's written in the manual, it should be fine, right? All right, all right. Today's going really well. Mr. Yamada. It seems you managed to secure quite a few contracts today. The large number of invoices is proof of that. Thank you. The probability of closing deals at the client's sites has significantly increased, and that's reflected in these results. I'll keep taking them at this pace. Mr. Keiji, you can't afford to slack off. From now on, this Yamada might just continue to take the top sales results. Ah, oh, that's a good attitude. Keep up the good work. He seems overly confident, but when the next sales results come in, I'm going to achieve an absolute victory with numbers as proof. All right, I'll keep improving my results and regain my position as department head. 
It's amazing that Mr. Keiichi can motivate someone like Mr. Yamada, who looked like he was burned out and nearing the end of his career. Look at him. Can't you see the red flame burning in him? He's fired up. I'm really glad Mr. Keiichi came. I want to be a boss like that. After that, Yamada continued to think and work hard on his own way. However... Let's start the morning meeting. Thank you all for your hard work. The sales results are in. This time, Mr. Yamada really put in the effort. The overall sales department performance has also improved, right? Ugh, but despite the effort, the results are still mediocre. What more can I do? I believe Mr. Yamada is working hard. But... Could it be that you're facing a wall? A wall? Uh, yes. That's what it feels like. Then this is an opportunity. Huh? An opportunity? Yes, it's a chance for your next leap forward. There are moments like this before a breakthrough. I'm sure you've experienced this too, Mr. Yamada. It would be a waste to give up here. Even if it's tough, if you push through now, your level will greatly improve. This is a valuable opportunity. I've had many moments like this too. Uh... I want you to teach me more. Just cut to the chase and tell me everything quickly. So I can overcome this situation. Understood. I'm sorry to interrupt the morning meeting, but there's a complaint call for Mr. Yamada. A complaint? Alright, I'll take the call. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for your continued support. I'll take my leave now. What happened? I apologize for the disturbance. The issue was minor. It was just that my approach was seen as too mechanical. However, it seemed to touch on the other party's feelings. I offered my apologies and I think that's it for this matter. I see. It seems that your eagerness to tackle tasks one after another made it feel too impersonal. Of course, the other party is a human being with emotions. So please, engage with each person personally, not just on a transactional level. This is an aspect where your personality shines through, so you'll need to work on polishing that from now on. Uh, personality. I don't want to say it, but I lack confidence in that area. I'll make sure not to neglect improving my personality, and I'll do my best. Now, back to the topic. You brought back quite a few invoices this time. What was your strategy for yourselves? By offering significant discounts, the closing rate at the client sites increased. I see. So while you secured a lot of contracts, the unit price for those contracts was low, making it hard to achieve substantial results in monetary terms. You focused solely on the discount section of the manual then? Yes, that's correct. I went all in on discounts. From now on, let's value the list of customers we've already closed deals with in the past. We'll work on encouraging repeat purchases. Ah, uh, I see. I had only been focused on acquiring new customers. Since you've already been able to gain new clients, focusing on encouraging repeat purchases should lead to even greater results. Exactly. It's like a snowball effect. A snowball effect? Ah, oh, that would be great. Additionally, on a finer point, it would be effective to time your follow-ups just when the client's stock from their last purchase is running low. By prompting repeat purchases at that time, the chances of closing deals could increase, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. That's right. The timing when they're about to run out. All right. I'm ready to get back to it starting today. Mr. Keiji, be prepared this time. I'm going to take the top spot in the sales department. Be sure to think of an excuse for when you lose. With your coaching, I feel like Mr. Yamada's fire is turning blue this time. In fact, blue flames burn hotter than red. They indicate a stable high temperature. I welcome it, Mr. Yamada. Challenge me head on with all your might. You bet. Don't underestimate a guy from the Showa era. <laughs> I've returned to the sales department of Tokimeki Cosmetics after five years. I can feel the atmosphere building up for a significant leap forward. After that, Mr. Yamada continues to view me as a rival in a positive way. He's taking the window seat and is fired up, heading out to meet clients today as well. New clients, here I come. Longtime clients, thank you for your continued patronage. All right, Showa era man, let's go. As for Yui and me, as we continue our meaningful work together, our distance has significantly closed. 
People often say you look cool when you are working, right? Hearing that from the company president's secretary is quite an honor. Hey, by the way, would you consider hiring me as Keiji's secretary in your personal life? Uh, yes, please. I'm a bit surprised at how quickly I agreed. Thank you for watching until the end. Please remember to subscribe to the channel.